Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. This is your full body count pound workout. Count pound means that we're gonna be using upper body and lower body so that we can rev up that heart rate, build muscle and burn fat. There are four blocks, we got three moves, 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. And today is three rounds so that we can really get deep down in there and build that muscle. Equipment today is dumbbells, a mat, and I'm using one yoga block. Your option would be to do a couple of books just for an elevated single leg bridge. The heaviest weight that I will be using is 15 pound dumbbells. The lightest set is eight. Stay till the end because we got five minutes of abs. And if you're new to this channel, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. It's three minute warm up. Hey, guess who's back? Carol is back with us today. Woo! So get yourself in a sumo squat position and you're gonna be touching in the ground. So you're gonna bend those knees, touch the ground and then reach the arms up like jumping jack arms. Squat and reach. You don't have to touch the ground in that squat. It's really important just to bend the knees as much as you can. Keep the eyes lifted. It could even just be one arm. I kind of like the one arm thing here. We're gonna get ready for a lateral lunge to the right. So step the feet in, give me one to the right, one to your left, and then hands on the thighs, flat back, round back, flat back, come up, lateral lunge. So we have a lot of compounds today. Give me that flat and round. So we're gonna be keeping the heart rate elevated, and it's three rounds. So we're gonna work hard today. We've been doing a lot of no repeat, so today we need to have some repeating. All right, take yourself into a lunge, open up for a twist, and then step in, switch. So when you step back in that lunge, let the hips drop as the hand goes down and then open up. Make this your last one. Gonna squat, bring that right knee up, and then squat, kick, and then switch the legs. Use the core to pull that leg up, and then give that hamstring a nice little stretch. A little twist to the knee. Give me that kick. All right, let's turn a face here. Come into a plank, step back. Give me a little crouch back, and then T open to the front of the room. Hands down, crouch back, open to the back. So bend the knees, shift the hips back, and then open up nice and big. All right, we are coming on up to those feet. And then it's just alternating knees. Pull the knee up. A nice big movement. Arms can go kind of up and over. Your eyes are lifted. You've just got five seconds. Twist it, just stretch out that low back. Whew. All right, we got lunges and some squats. I'll show you the first move so you can determine your weight. I'm gonna go for 12. It's a back lunge with a curl. So I'm gonna alternate lunges here. And then when I come down, I'm gonna swing twice. And then come back in, control the weight. So pick that weight that you need. It is 40 seconds of full out effort. I decided to go for 15, <laughs> okay? Show this back, so remember it's two lunges and then a squat with a little suitcase swing here. So lunge back, curl, and then you do a little swing down, up. Lunge back, curl. 
And I'm gonna tell you something here. When we go a little bit on that heavier side, you're gonna have to definitely work harder. Obviously, right? And you don't need to move so fast. So in that curl, bring that fist to the shoulder. In that little suitcase swing, you gotta keep the core tight. We got five seconds to a curtsy lunge curl. All right, 15 second break. That's kind of long for me. What we do is we step back in that curtsy. When you're in the curtsy, give me the curl and then drop. Try to keep hips and shoulders shining forward. Okay, take it back, drop and curl. So here's the other thing. When you're gonna go lighter, you're probably gonna get more reps than you will if you have heavier weight. And heavier weight, what does it do for you? You can really build that muscle. And then the compound move turns up the heat by keeping the heart rate up and we can burn a little more fat. We got 15 seconds here. And then we hit the plank with no equipment. Push that hip out. I'm gonna get one more of these. I'm coming into plank. I lift the right hand off the floor. I turn a little to the side. Tuck it in. Then left knee to the opposite elbow. Get to plank, guys. And then switch. Right hand, pull it up. Left knee to elbow. Left hand, pull it up. Right knee to elbow. You can always be on the knees, but it's a good strong movement here. And when you pull that hand back, it goes right to your armpit. Pull your head back a little bit to align your, your neck. Look out in front. Okay, 15 seconds. We go into round two. Curl it as you lunge it to the back. So now you know, maybe you can go a little heavier. My 12s are available. Lunge back curl. And then suitcase swing for two. Slow it down in that curl. And you can kind of go, whew, little push. You could even just stay in the lunge curls. If it's too easy on the biceps, widen that hand grip. Makes it harder. Eight seconds. Okay, curtsy lunge. All right, if your weight is a little heavy, I'll let it go for a moment. Whew. Okay, let's curtsy to the other direction in five seconds. Feet face forward, drop, and then curl. So I want you to hold that curtsy down at the bottom. If you're on carpet, maybe your knees just kissing that ground. Fight the urge to drop your chest to your knee. You stay up. So we're in that round two. We should feel like we have to push. Because in round three, you should feel like, oh my gosh. Right? Heart rate stays elevated. Get into that plank. Hands directly under the shoulders. You can hold that plank for a moment. Those knees are, or the feet are slightly open. Pull the head back. Right hand, left knee. Left hand, right knee. Don't rush this. And I want you to try to get that knee to your forearm. That little extra effort. And where are you pulling that hand to? Get the elbow tight to your side. This is good for posture. Okay, 
Now it'd be easy to be done with this round. We're gonna go for that third round today. Woo, all right. Building that muscle, you guys. We got those lunging curls. That's my girl, there you go. She's like, I know, I know I can do more, right? But know your, know your limit, lunge it. Curl it. Swing. Swing, you gotta keep your eyes up. Your eyes should be up the whole time here. That swing, oh my gosh. Lots of core. Lots of backside. One more challenge on the bicep curls, keep the palms up. Ooh. Curtsies are coming. I'm dropping my weight for a moment. Hey, now's the time to buy those heavier weights, right? Because that's such a demand. Here we go. Especially if you're gonna be staying at home working out with me. Curtsy, curl. Remember, everybody has a different pace. So if you behind me need to go a little faster, go a little faster. I'm hitting heavy. Really bend the knees. Keep your eyes lifted. Everything faces forward. You can always be a lunge to the back again. If you have some knee issues. Come on. Oh, Whew. getting ready for that plank. Nice job. So let's finish this off. I'm gonna give you time to get some water. And we're gonna get ready for that last, the next block. So find an amazing plank here. Just pick up the left hand first. Right knee. And then the right hand. Keep it tight. This one too is going to be harder when we slow it down. Okay, Whew. get your water. If you need a little stretch, right? Take a stretch. I'm gonna get some water. Ooh. So take your time. Walk away if you need to. <laughs> Shake it out. Okay, everybody's okay? All right. You guys at home are good? All right, I'm gonna lighten my load. I'm gonna go for eight. Think of the inside leg. We're gonna go in 10 seconds, watch. Lateral raises, inside leg, forward lunge, outside leg. Ready, set, lateral walk, inside foot, front, and the outside foot. Take it for a walk, lateral, inside, hold the weight at the shoulders, lateral. Hey, if you have a band, you could use your booty band, Watch your equipment, guys, right? Elbows up to shoulder height. We should be at fives and eights when we do this. Bend elbows. Inside. Did you get it? Five seconds, last movement here. Take it to the forward. Dead lift. One weight. I'm gonna go 15 in my right hand. Dead row, I can have the hand by the head. Dead row, lunge. Dead row, pause lunge. Hinge, you can have the hand at the hip. Dead row, option if your balance is a little off. Step the foot in, drop, and then step back into that lunge. You can add that curl, that's totally fine. Dead row. Bring that weight to your hip in that row. 
I have my other hand by my ear. Choo. <laughs> Relax, switch that, turn around. And then the other hand can swat the flies or the bugs. So this is where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have my hand here. It helps me with my posture. So find your balance. Hey, you can do this workout barefoot. So long back, dead row, then just lunge and pause. If you wanna add a curl to that lunge, go for it. I'm gonna keep it right here. Each leg right, has different abilities for balance. So know where you need to be. And again, pull that dumbbell to your hip. Woo. Okay, we're getting ready for that lateral walk again. Know where you're gonna go, watch your equipment. Let's start on this left side. Soften the shoulders, soften the knees. Brace your core. Two lateral steps. Forward lunge inside. So take it out. And then watch your equipment. So make sure you have enough space. Eyes are lifted. Bring that weight up to the shoulders. And if it's heavy, you bend your elbows a little bit in that side raise. If it's light, you can go further away from the body. Big steps. Super job. Last one in the lunges here. Woo. Okay, let's get ready for that dead row. My right hand has it first. So I'm gonna do hand behind the head. If you wanna try for a better posture, which way are we gonna go? That's good. Yeah, so hinge, dead, row, and then lunge. Bring the weight to the hip, then chest comes up, chest drops down. It's good to work on balance. Use those feet, use the inside of that arch. Keep your core pulling up and in. It should be a nice moderate. I'm at 15. Okay, we're gonna switch that leg, switch the arm. Ooh, looking good. Okay, so again, keep the length. Crown of the head through that foot. Shoulders back. So it's a dead row to that lunge hold. If your balance is really off, right, have a chair next to you. That will definitely help you so you can keep moving, not struggling so much with your balance. If you have your hand behind your head like me, make sure you're pushing that head into the hand for even better posture. Then your foot. Think of your arch. Let your arch help you out for the inside of the foot. Okay, we got one more round. Let's start off to the right side for that lateral lunge or lateral walk. Ooh. Shoulders back. Here we go, soften the knees. Take it out two. Inside foot, lunges. Ooh, I'm all over the place. When we're moving with that weight, we don't want to jump. We don't want to have too much impact on those joints. Use that core. Getting ready for that dead row. The right hand. Ooh. Okay. Everybody's good though? Everybody's quiet today. I'm gonna turn here. Dead row. Down to the knee, pull to the hip, and lunge. 
Remember, you can always just hinge and then lunge. We want to work balance. And when you drop in that lunge, your back knee just maybe lightly hit, touches the floor. Lift the eye gaze up. You know, Noticing one leg is better at stabilizing you. Whew. This is my wobbly foot. Shoulders back. I'm gonna go hand behind the head. Have good posture. Dead row. And hit the lunge. Pull that weight to the hip. Actually, this is a nice moderate load. We got a lot of single leg stuff today to really deepen the muscle activation so you get more out of this workout. All right, take that break. Get your water, towel off if you need to. We're coming into all four. So we'll be doing a kickback. I think I'm gonna go with eight pounds. It's just one dumbbell. So my real right hand is gonna have an eight pound dumbbell. I'm gonna be on all four. If you need to double up your mat, you can. You're gonna extend opposite leg. Kick back with a little leg lift. Or you can hold the leg there and just isometrically hold. But we're going down right now, you guys. We're gonna go in five seconds. Right arm has it. Left leg is back. So kick back. Tap the toe down if you want to. Or hold it. Now with a kick back, you wanna get that elbow right next to your side and then extend the arm straight back. Each arm gets three chances here. So pull the head back. Don't drop your chin down. This one we don't need to go fast, right? Because you got a lot of reps going on on this arm. Three seconds. All right, relax. I'm like dripping sweat. Anybody else? Turn it around. Woo. Hands under shoulders. Think of opposite. Hike up your elbow and then kick it back. Pull the head back. And then when you're bringing that elbow to the side, feel like you've got like a towel that you're holding onto. So tighten it up. No, I think I'm the only one with the sweat drip dripping down my nose. <laughs> All right, Catherine is, right? Thanks. Whew. Keep it rocking here. And we're gonna be staying in upper body, a little focused here. We're gonna do plank jack. Plank jack for two. One slow push up. You can either tap or jack the feet out, and it's a slow push-up. Wide or narrow grip. So jack for two, slow push-up. Can always drop to the knees, especially on the way up. So I'm gonna go down with my, my feet off the floor and then knees to the ground to come up. Okay, kickbacks. All right, take a moment. Ooh, roll the wrist. We're gonna go to that kickback. Right hand has the weight. Ooh, brace the core. Extend the left leg and kick it back. Pull the head back. 
have great posture. Kick back, you can kind of vary it as we do these. As you come up, you can rotate the palm up. Kind of switch it a little bit here. Keep it up three seconds. Woo. All right, relax. I'm fired up today. I don't know about you, my arms are fired. Let's take it to the other side. <laughs> I don't know, I feel really drippy. Here we go, switch the leg, extend it, elbow up, kick it back. Okay, pull the abs up and in. Give me amazing posture. Okay, listen as I tell you what we're gonna do with the next movement. We're gonna still plank jack, but then come to a down dog, and then try to do a down dog push up, and then shift into plank for the jack. So we'll just make it a little different. Or you can keep it the same. All right, we're gonna try that. So this is what the down dog push up looks like. So you do your two plank jacks. Probably gonna want your hands a little wider, Come to down dog, drop the forehead, come back into your plank for your jacks. Here we go, jack out for two, down dog, bend the elbows, lower down, jack. Hips up. And then move at that pace, that's good for you. Good posture. Okay, relax for a moment. Roll the wrist. Okay, last round. Good job. Oh my gosh, I don't have a towel. Switch it to the right side. Left leg is back. Here we go, kick it back. Another option, knee can come in, can push the leg out, kind of like that. Cheeky's got it going on with me. So is Diane, whoo. Helps me push a little bit more, how about you? Yeah, come on. This is where we're building that muscle, getting to that edge. All right, switch it around. So when you get to that point of the weight where you feel like you're struggling, guess what, your heart rate comes up. It's a little burst of cardio here. Here we go, position yourself. Kick it back, option to pull the knee in. And it's good to vary the movements, but still have them hit the same area. Keep that elbow by your side and up. Mm. Woo. And we're going to change that next movement to a moving plank with two jacks. All right, keep the two jacks. And then we know what a moving plank is, right? Down to the elbows, up to the hands. You can be on the knees or toes in that moving jack, or the moving plank. So jack for two, then come down to the elbows, come back up, jack. Pull those shoulders down. Pull the head back, good posture, brace the core. Or 
so close. Come on. Woo. Okay, get some water. We're gonna be using a yoga block. If you have a couple books, right, you could put your foot up on a book for bridges. A yoga block goes down on the ground. You are taking a break. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go 12. Single arm chest press. We have 24 seconds. My right foot is on my yoga block. Or a, or a couple of books. My left leg is lifted. So right foot, right arm. Drop the hip, lift the hip. Everything on the right side. We're gonna go in three seconds, are you up? Drop the hip, lift the hip. So it's a one arm chest press with a single leg bridge. Hey, if you don't have that platform for your foot, don't worry. You can do it on the floor. By having it elevated, we're gonna add a little more resistance, get a little bit more hamstring. We're in the thut. Stay with this one side. Oh yeah. And then don't be thinking that you're doing it three times because <laughs> you're really gonna get deep in there. All right, relax. So see if you can move it with your feet. Move the block over to your left. And sometimes as we're doing this, you can start with the block closer and then move it a little further away. Weight is up, hips up, leg up, drop on the left. So on the back side of our body, we're dropping the hip and the elbow and pressing up. You could always cross your foot. That would be an option. This is great, we're doing unilateral. We're doing one side. What is that? Is that the cicada? He's like literally right above us. He's loud. Oh yeah. I don't know if you've noticed, through the summer the cicada noise get, it has gotten louder. Ooh. Okay guys, come on up, quickly. Oh, give me something heavy, right? Anybody want the 12s? I'm gonna do 15, sumo squat. I'm gonna hold it up here. I'm gonna lift the right heel, left heel. So up, up, down, down. Two pulses. Come up, 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 down, down. Two squats. Up heels, down the heels, drop. Heels. Hey, this is in Pio. Come and do Pio with us. Such a great workout. Heels. Come on, drop. I get heavy. Put those heels up. Okay, getting ready for that bridge. Woo! And press. You can keep the 12. I'm gonna go 15. Move that block to the right foot. Maybe you're a little further away. Everything is up. Drop on the right. I thought 15 seconds was too long today. It's not. Especially when we're doing three rounds. Drive through the heel. So my toe is up, my heel is pressing into the block. Or it could be books. You could have it on a chair. Holy crap, that would be tough, right? I like tough, don't you? All right, switch that block over. Are you doing okay though, Carol? All right, Carol, you know, she's been MIA. You were working out though, weren't you? All right, everything is up. I like how she says I was working out a little bit. Back side, left leg, left arm. And you know what, sometimes we need little breaks. Take some breaks. All right, sometimes your body just needs to do walking, right? That can be very therapeutic. Not only for your, for you physically, but mentally. And then if you walk with a friend, it's like a bonus, it's like a therapy session. I'll press it up. 
then we have those sumo squats. Nice job, guys. All right, we're up. You can do it without weight. If you're feeling like a struggle here, I'm gonna go that heavy weight. So we're dropping, front load, sumo position, not too far low here. Heels up, heels down, pulse two. Remember, up, up, down, down, pulse. And if that weight is heavy, man, your core needs to be activated. This is really a good strength workout for you guys. Round three. Yes, you can. Here we go. Magic happens here. Right? Heel in that block. Everything is lifted. Drop that right side. And then check out your wrist. If you're having wrist issues, make sure when you're doing things where we hold that weight, your wrist can kink a little bit, but really have the knuckles up. Punch that fist to the sky. Don't rush this one. Ooh, all right, switch that block to your left. Somebody smells really good over here. I know it's not me. Hips up, weight up. Oh, sorry. Backside, drop and press. You can go smaller or bigger with that bridge. But when we're on the ground, your chest right is very safe. Your elbow touches the floor and press it up. You can't hurt that shoulder. Keep it moving, 10 seconds. Then we have sumo squats. Woo, all right, come on up, you guys. Doing awesome. I'm just gonna check in. Make sure you guys are good. Okay. All right, come on, Catherine, get up there. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. Getting sumo, heels up, up, down, drop. Yeah, the bugs attack you when there's no breeze. Your hand grip. I got the weights a little bit on my shoulders. Ten seconds. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Okay. We're getting ready for a little five-minute core. So, catch your breath. Oh my gosh. We're gonna fan off a minute. And then you need no equipment, just your body. On your back, looking at the ceiling, it's a hip lift with a rotation. So when you rotate, you're kind of trying to lift one of the hip bones kind of up more. Get on your back. One minute of each movement. There are five moves. There is one where we do one side and then the other. All right. You can face me too if you guys need to. So it's a hip lift with a rotation. So we lift the hips, pop open. So as you lift the hips, you're gonna lift to the right and then lift to the left. Arms press into the ground. And for one minute, oh my gosh, right? Option bent knees.
And then we're gonna be coming into a side forearm plank with the knees down. Quickly rock up, come to a side forearm, take the leg out, so drop the knee and then kick it out. So you're dropping the hips, so you get a little side hip lift. If you're feeling pretty energetic, you can drop the hips, lift the hips, you can add a side lift. So those are some options, some variations. I am good here. <laughs> so we get that hip drop using the underside oblique and the top oblique. And readjust. And then the last 15 seconds, we're gonna hold it. Now we're gonna hold. So if you wanna stack, hold it, push the hips forward, and then we're gonna do the same movement on the other side. Swing it around, right? Drop the knees, we go right to it, open it up, bend. And wherever your hand wants to go, And then think about pulling up and in. All right, we got a few more seconds and then we're gonna hold that side plank. One more kick. All right, hold that side plank. Stack if you want to, or you can stay on the knees. Then we're gonna flip on the back with a double crunch. I'm actually gonna flip my legs that way so I don't hit my weights. All right, on your back, legs are up at 90. I do a double crunch, and then I'm gonna take my legs, extend them out with a jack. Here we go. Crunch two, press the legs out, open, close. So what I gave you in that last movement was some outer thigh. And in this movement, you get inner thigh, which connects with your core and your pelvic floor. And if you didn't get a chance to, hey, do the awesome little mini ball inner thigh workout. I'll put the link above, which is inner thigh and abs. Get up as high as you can in that crunch and then hold it. We're flipping into forearms. Ooh. Start with rainbows. All right, drop the hip down to one side and the other. Now think about your head. Pull it back a little bit here. Look beyond your fingers. All right, hold center. Open the feet a little bit here. Can you reach the right arm and the left leg? Hold it. And then switch. Or you can stay in rainbows. And switch. Go at your pace. Try to do some alternating arm and leg lift. Or it could just be leg. Or it could just be arm. Relax. Nice job. Sit in child pose here. Woo. Let's take the hands and do a little stretch for those. The wrists. Flip your hands so your fingers face your toe or your knees. And then just start to kind of lean back. Get a stretch in the wrist. That should feel good. Everybody's got a different mobility here. And then take the fingers to face out. All right, and then just shift side to side.
And then let's take it back to all four, round the spine, so tuck under, and then release. Eyes up, round, release. One more. Step your right foot forward. I'm gonna do my real right foot. Just lunge it. If you want a little more stretch in that hip flexor, so that same leg, I'm gonna reach up the same arm. It's by my ear. Then reach the other arm down, so you have opposition here. And then do a little pat the back tricep stretch. You can do a little side bend. And then we're doing hamstring stretch. So you can either come up, I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up and hamstring stretch. Turn front, straddle. Ooh. And then turn to the other side in your lunge. And then we're ready for that. <clears throat> same thing here. So same thing on this side. You can reach up the arm, tuck under. I have good posture, you can have opposition. And usually when you're stretching, it should be about three nice deep breaths here. Tricep. Can you open up the front of your body just a little bit more? And then I'm gonna place the hands down, pull the back foot in for hamstring stretch. Yeah, this gets a little tight for sure. And then we're gonna face front into that wide straddle. You can grab the elbows, just be heavy. Take a deep breath. All right, hands down, walk it in with the feet. And you're gonna roll it up. Big inhale, bring it into your heart. Let's do one more, have that gratitude. Reach it out. Grateful to these guys for taking time. Come here and you. Woo, great job, yay. Thank you guys. Thank you, good to see you back, Carol. Woo, good to see everybody back. Good to see you here with us. Hey. Right there, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. It is Michelle Breeler. Nothing, nothing changed there, so you already know my name. But you guys have a great day. Comment below, make sure you like the video. Share it, hey, there's a little arrow. Share that with a friend, take care.